Thank you. Uh, Mr. Moulton is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I just want to say that um, I completely agree with you and your philosophy about uh, amendments like this. This is not about the top line number. I mean, imagine if I said, hey, I just took a great vacation with my family to, take, to Cape Cod and it only cost $1,000. And then Mr. Rogers and Mr. Bacon came up and said, well, I had a much better vacation because mine cost $5,000. Well, where did you go? Well, it doesn't matter where I went. It was a better vacation because it cost more money. But then likewise, if Mr. Connor came up to me and said, well, my vacation was much better because it only cost $500. Where did you go? What did you do? Oh, that doesn't matter. It just cost $500. What matters is what's in the budget. What matters is what we're actually spending the money on. I mean, to this point, I think my colleague Ms. Luria is, is right. We do have a real threat from China. Now, how we face that threat, how we address that threat, is not solved by the number of ships we have. I hate that argument. It doesn't matter how many ships we have. It matters what their capabilities are. What are they doing? China has figured this out, folks. They're investing in a lot of capabilities that are much less expensive but more effective than our own. So when I actually look at the substance of this amendment, it's somewhat compelling because I think there are a lot of future capabilities embedded in this spending. It's not perfect. There are parochial priorities as well that do not advance our national defense. Sometimes, to Ms. Jacobs' point, spending more money is effective at deterrence. So spending more money in the Department of Defense does not necessarily mean more war. Sometimes it can mean preventing more war. But at the end of the day, the point is that what matters is the substance of the bill. That's where we should have this debate. And to be frank, I'm torn because I think that there is a lot of wasteful spending in the underlying bill that should be cut because it's spent on old capabilities we don't need. At the same time, this amendment includes some of the capabilities that we do need. Taken overall, though, if we were effective at spending our money more wisely, we probably could cut the national defense budget significantly. China's beating us at our own game because they're spending their money more effectively. And that's the true challenge, challenge facing us on this committee. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you. Ms. Spear is recognized. Thank you, Mr.